The date was December 24, 1968. The crew of Apollo 8 had captured the world's imagination with an historic broadcast, a message delivered nearly 400,000 kilometers from Earth. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the Earth. And the Earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, let there be light. Knowing that millions around the world were watching, Apollo astronaut Jim Lovell at a recent forum said it seemed appropriate to read from the book of Genesis. Which is the foundation of most of the world's religions, not just the Christian religion, but most of the people who will be listening to you are probably not Christian. And that's how it finally came to pass. The Christmas Eve broadcast was timed to coincide with a full view of the Earth from space. The image had a profound impact on millions of people, including the man who took the photograph astronaut Bill Anders. When I saw the Earth rise and then also pictures of the small Earth from a lunar distance, it crossed my mind that, you know, here we'd spent all this time studying the moon and what we were doing was discovering the Earth. Originally, the mission was to circle the Earth for 10 days, but it became more ambitious as the Cold War battle for space supremacy intensified. The lunar orbit was considered risky because it had never been done. But looking back years later, Apollo 8 Commander Frank Borman would call it a perfect mission. That was as good a mission, as perfect a mission as ever been flown because of the attack. Forty years later, the mission remains a major milestone in man's quest to conquer space. But even then, it was also a reminder of our shared humanity. Milar Sega, VOA News.